hello friends you are welcome to anchor network where you get updates of things that you really need to know i appreciate every one of you who has been part of this channel who has subscribed and as many that are still contemplating whether to subscribe or not i will encourage you to do that because i know you are not going to regret it at the end of the day please click the red subscribe button and also the bell icon the bell icon is very important because if you don't click the bell icon you will not be notified anytime we publish any news and more so i have a gift for everyone or as many that are interested on how to build a website there is a website link in the description section once you open it there's a video that will teach you on how to build a website from beginning to the end thank you very much so let's go straight to the business of the day President Muhammadu Buhari has asked Fulani S. May residing in the southern part of the country to disregard the quit order issued to them by the Northern Elders Forum, NEF, yesterday, July 16th. A statement released on behalf of the President by the Senior Special Assistant, Media and Publicity, Garba Shehu, in Abuja on Tuesday, quoted the President as saying, All citizens of Nigeria are free to move and live within any part of the country they please whether or not they are originally from there. All citizens of Nigeria are free to move and live within any part of the country they please, whether or not they are originally from there. In line with our country's constitution, the government of Nigeria and the administration of President Muhammadu Buhari will protect citizens of Nigeria whether they find themselves, wherever they find themselves. No one has the right to ask anyone or group to depart from any part of the country whether north, south, east, or west, the president said. Garba Shehu questioned in the intentions of the NEF and the other so-called leaders in, the evening, in delving into issues with unsolicited, ill-intentioned advice. They have no one's authority to make such pronouncements. The, polariz the polarizing role of the Northern Elders Forum and all those groups dabbling into issues of security to score cheap Political points has for long been a sore point in Nigeria's body polity. They should not be allowed to mislead anyone, least of all the Fulani headers. The Buari administration is fully devoted to finding a lasting solution to the header farmer clashes in different parts of the country, one that would be acceptable to all the parties involved. Record that the NEF and the coalition of the northern groups at a press conference in Abuja on Tuesday, asked Fulani Esmen to leave the southern part of Nigeria. According to them, the Esmen should return to the north where their safety and that of their property could be guaranteed. So, guys, uh, that's what the president is saying, you know, very uh, fast in taking action, very fast in releasing statements concerning these uh, Fulani people. I could remember when the same group came up to give ultimatum to the federal government that Ruga must be implemented across the country. It took the government almost one week or five days before they could even make a statement. And even the statement they made was not really too, you know, emphatic. It was not really too grounded. They just said it merely. It took them most, more than five days for them to have even responded to the ultimatum given by the uh, northern groups. And now, because... They have told their people to leave. Of course, it is that it is them themselves that even ask their people to leave. One thing that is uh, important here and people should know and note is that no one is telling the uh, Nietiala or the Katsurieras or Esme as they are being called to leave any part of the country. But what people are saying is that we don't want you moving your your business or your cows, your cattle rearing business inside the town, inside the bushes or farmland of uh, farmers. That is just what people are talking about, that if you really want to do your business, look for a designated place to, you know, do your business there so that it will affect other people. Other people are doing business. We have a lot of businessmen and women across the country, and no one is, you know, it is, uh, their business is not really detrimental or is harming any, anybody. So why is it that this uh, a business of a thing will now be... Uh, 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 a, a turn in the flesh of Nigerians. That is just the simple thing that they are asking of. And meanwhile, these uh, Fulani elders, they are saying the only thing they want is for them to be implemented, to be located across the country. Just like uh, we have been saying from Benue State, they, they, they lost the case in the courts when they wanted a situation whereby they will be moving around. And they said, no, they don't want anti-open uh, uh, open grazing uh, uh, stuff. 
and most of them they start, said they started leaving and uh, going to to their places like we all know north is a you know has a very big land where they can go to and and do their business like in the south uh, they're summing the south east south south and southwest together cannot be compared the land mass they cannot be compared to what we have in the north so why is it that they just want to implement this a uh, ruga or they want their presence to be felt across the country so that is just what people are talking about now for the president to have told them not to uh, listen or to disregard the call return from the northern elders it would have been also tell them to be law abiding people to be love peace uh, uh, peace loving people not creating all manner of a uh, tension all over the place just like uh, the president said that you know their their duty is to protect lives and property that is the rhetoric we've been hearing right from the day they came into the office that is just the only thing they, they did they've been saying and meanwhile when the issue of a uh, uh, benway saga came up the same thing they've been saying and since then that had not made the or it has not made the killing or the detention in terms of a uh, security to have a uh, dives down it still remains the same. It's going up, up, up. It's, you know, getting to the peak. It's getting strength day by day. There's the same thing they will say. Uh, we regret this thing. Oh, we, we condemn this action. We condemn this act. The same thing that they've been saying. So nobody takes them serious. And that's why people say they are going to fight for themselves. Because as it is now, the, they are the presidency just making a political statement without action. Without action. The only thing that would have caught this problem is to bring to book any one court irrespective of where you come from anywhere anyone caught you know committing crime doing all manner of things doing things illegal that is just the thing that they need to do this a uh, fire brigade approach or coming from the back door to to do some things that are not really relevant you need to nip the whole problem you know at the board before you talk about even establishing anything you are not doing that you are leaving the the main thing and you are just pursuing shadows that's just the way i see it if really he is telling them not to you just to disregard the call by the northern elders it is the same thing it has to go alongside that no one should be seen with any form of arms any form of uh, ak-47 going around if you want to do your business De tell them the same thing let them look for a place to do their business if they want to make sure that there's peace in the land not telling them not to leave okay not telling them not to leave majority of them like we always say not that anyone is tagging them but majority of them are into this crime if they are not into this crime or people are using them as a as a cover up as a disguise to perpetrate their evil then why can't the government fish out those people behind these things and from what we heard now that the government is trying to register you know do all a uh, e-registration uh, so those that have come into the country illegally, whereas we have a 1,400 illegal borders that people just come in, you know, free entry and free exit. No one is controlling them. No one is monitoring anybody. Now they've been able to come into the country and yet you want to register them. Like we know, we don't even have a, we don't even have a, 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 a basic, um, what is it called? Uh, this is a biometric thing, database. We don't even have it. That is what would have even, you know, Come up in the first place even the we, uh, the so-called uh, citizens of nigeria we don't even have a, a database now you are you are trying to register you are trying to register the people that you think that they are illegal even the the legal ones these real citizens of nigerians do we really have a database for them no why is it that you know they just do things that are uncalled for things that are not supposed so even come these, these are the things that are not really priority that is just what they always want to do and that's why you see that most of their policy most of their plan is always you know jamming uh, at the rock it's not always uh, uh, fulfilled and people always castigate them because they don't do the right thing because you see that most of their thing you know you you just be insinuating you'll be thinking and be suspe suspecting whether that those are this their policy they have a uh, ulterior motives so if you really want to register people or people that have come into the country illegally, what about the borders that they come in through? Have you been able to secure those borders tightly that no one comes in? So what you are saying is that if you if you if you allow people to be coming in just like that and you want to be registering there, that means a lot of people will still be coming in. And like I said, the citizens also do not even have a database. You can't even go to, there's no government, uh, this thing that you can say, okay, you have a social security survey, a, a, a number or whatever, or you go to bank or police, you know, 
uh, 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 stops you and they want to ask for you know just to want you to be identified not all these uh, uh, driver drivers last they talk about or even this a uh, uh, national id card do you can a policeman get his own uh, gadget and where you give him your uh, what is it called this your national id card will they be able to trace you where you live everything about you the day you were born will they be able to trace anyone like that no they can't they will not be able to do that but now the government wants to spend money to be able to register illegal immigrants whereas the legal migrants in the, the, the citizens of this country don't even have a database that you can really even track them if anyone commits offense or commits any crime so that is just my own point he has given or he has assured the fulani esme not to leave uh, anywhere they are they should ignore the call return from the northern elders please guy i would like to hear from you what you think about this thing please put your comments down in the comment section let's rub my studio thank you very much bye <laughs>